This is nice. Seeing you again, talking to you. This is this is nice. I'm glad I came. I'm glad we've been able to meet back up after all these years. Me too. What? What? That smirk. What? What smirk? I was thinking. Oh, come of now. It. I've seen that smirk before. Go on. What is it? Hi. Can I get you some dessert? Yes. He will have a slice of chocolate pie. Um. No, thank you. Actually. Thank I'll give you a second. How grown chocolate pie? I prefer pecan nowadays. Huh. Anyway, I just think it's funny that we're here. You know, when we were younger, we talked about how we found our way back to each other, and here we are. Here we are. I mean, now you have your engagement, obviously, and we've been broken up for two years, but so found our way. I guess so. I can't say I'm surprised, though, because the way I saw it with us, I imagine there's a sort of string wrapped around our hearts. Anytime we feel a tug at our hearts, it's the other one playing with the string. A way of saying, I, I miss you. We can be as far away from each other as possible. Right across from each other. The distance doesn't matter. Because we'll both hold on. And even though it can run thin, we'll hold on tight. I don't think either of us will have the power to cut it. So inevitably, we'll always have a way to find each other if we get lost. Okay? Maybe we didn't lack the power, but more so the desire to cut that string. If we lack the desire, then why did- Michael, why did you ask me here today? Was it to tell me about the engagement? No! Do you regret the way that I found out about you cheating on me that you think by telling me about an engagement, it's gonna fix things between us? My god, Q! Are you ever gonna let the past go? Which part, Mike? The part where you sleep with my cousin or the part where you marry her? <sighs> sorry about what happened. I'm sorry too. It felt great to say all of that, but I'm sorry that I took it out on you. I'm sorry about everything. Not just for today, but for how we ended things. To answer you, I've asked you Michael, because... Michael, I'm sorry about our argument, but I really don't need you to walk me back to my hotel room. Nonsense. You have nothing to apologize for. The fact that you and I have changed so little over the years is actually kind of fitting. Haven't we changed? Were you happy? Were you ever really happy in our relationship? I mean, it was the first true love that I had ever experienced. Nothing mattered more than you. Not work, not school, not my own success, any of it. That being said, I did love our late night video calls. And I love that when you would hide things in my apartment and make me look for them. And most of all, I love that you would call me Q when everyone else called me Quentin. But we argued a lot. And at some point, all of that fighting just substituted the happiness in our relationship. At such a young age, I felt that I had already lived through most of my life. In a good way or a bad way? In an honest way. You know, after we broke up, I often found myself looking for you in places you had never been before. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Like, at school, I would do homework outside on the off chance you would drive 40 miles to come and surprise me. To come fight for us. At the grocery store, I would convince myself that I heard your laugh, and I would go aisle to aisle, turn every corner until I saw you. But you were never there. At work, anytime I heard the door open, I would stop anything and everything that I was doing, stare at the door until I saw your face. But I never did. You had your string theory, and all the while, I was holding on to a fantasy. But the reality was, I wasn't important enough for you to fight for. In every scenario where I thought that I would find you, I was always met with disappointment. And I know you think that's sad, but it's the truth. And I guess part of me always hoped, wondered, really, if you were ever out there looking for me, or if you wanted me to come find you. But hey, here we are. I've missed you in your way of words. You never gave yourself enough credit when it came to your writing. Seriously, that's what you have to say right now. Sorry, sorry. I've missed you. What? I've missed you. Say it one more time. I've missed you. Again. 
miss you again. I miss you. I miss you too. My flight lands tomorrow morning, so don't forget. You need to leave for the airport at 7, okay? No later. I need you to be on time. Ugh, I'm really stressed about moving my stuff into the apartment. My parents' flight is being delayed. I just need everything to be perfect. Nothing can go wrong. So I was thinking about hiring a wedding planner as a best Hello? I love you. I love you too.